Okay, so this is uh, how I foam a flying wing. This is a bone stock, well, this is my version of a, just a plain Versa. Uh, I've covered it in tape. I left the paper on this one, which is something that I normally don't do, but it's not a bad idea. Um, I've already cut out the, the holes for the battery and the servos. I cut this hole it, uh, as an access hole for the foam. Uh, but eventually this this section will be gone for my my famous notch um, I've also kind of cut a hole through the spar to gain access into here I want this area to be nice and and, and firm uh, and get a good fill because that's where the motor and everything's gonna be and because the notch has been cut I, I don't want it to lose any kind of strength so um, but this is this is how I do it um, I use this great stuff, not the black can, not the uh, super expanding jazz. Uh, I used that once and it blew my plane apart. Um, this stuff here, you'll see, just pump it in, keep it moving, um, and it'll fill up real nice. Um, the reason why I cut this stuff in advance is because if the foam doesn't get air to it, it will not dry it'll stay liquid and then so what'll happen is you'll get in a crash um, and some foam will kind of come through the, the the paper here uh, and underneath the tape and then just sit there as a liquid until air hits it and then it'll finally dry so you're flying around with a bunch of wet foam in there there's paisley everybody um, so anyways uh, the first few hundred times I did this I didn't wear gloves um, I finally learned, yep, I finally learned that it's extremely difficult to get this stuff off your fingers. Um, I figured I would, I guess, not wear gloves and then try uh, everything I could to get it off. And to be honest with you, it doesn't come off. Talking to the camera, baby. So anyways, um, what I'm going to do first is... <clears throat> um, Again, where this where this motor area is going to be, stick stick this through the hole, and uh, and give it a nice squirt. There you Whoa. Go. Whoa! Then I'm going to come in here to the side, go in as far as I can, and come out. Whoa! Whoa! Go back in this hole, go as far as I can, come out. You see, I'm starting to get it coming coming out of every orifice here. And I want it to be Whoa. nice and thick. Whoa! Whoa! I'll come in through the edge here. Whoa! 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 Big! Big foam! Whoa! Whoa! Kind of pushing it in there until I see action right there. Then I know that I've made it oh, all the way through. And, uh, oh, whoa. whoa. That looks pretty good. Um, typically, you'll use an entire can uh, in one plane. That's my experience. Uh, this one I have just a tiny bit left over, it looks like. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's typically you're gonna use one can per plane and every way I've tried to salvage what's left in a can hasn't worked, so toss the can when you're done with it. Um, this stuff is gonna sit here and expand. Watch out, baby. It's gonna sit here and expand and harden up uh, about every two hours or so. Come out and rip off the uh, topmost sections of foam to reveal the, the damp stuff underneath. Um, and then that stuff will expand and then dry and then eventually the whole thing's uh, gonna be dry Probably tomorrow uh, First thing it'll be ready because it's 70 something degrees outside um, First thing in the morning. It'll be it'll be ready uh, to cut the the holes out and everything and, and basically You know I saw you saw that I had the the foam areas cut out I'll just sort of use those as a guide put the blade down and and cut down the cool thing is, is that on the, the bottom side of the foam, um, 
you know, you, you just kind of use your senses to know when to stop. But the this foam right here will break away from it real nice and clean. So you get a real nice uh, battery compartment, um, you know, your servos and everything else. And then uh, once this is all dried up, then I'll, I'll come in and I'll cut my notch, um, which will generally be uh, an inch and a half behind the uh, CG marks, which are somewhere in this area here. So I'll come back an inch and a half and come across and then uh, come out depending on what size prop I'm gonna run. This is a standard Versa. Uh, my favorite thing on this wing is the, uh, the Turnigy 1400 KV motor with uh, eight by four five prop, uh, APC style. Uh, works great, uh, cruise it half throttle-ish uh, and as fast as you want it to go full uh, full throttle so um, I'm gonna just let this dry and uh, come back here in a couple hours and just kind of pull off some of these foam sections I'm not gonna videotape that because it's pretty much I, sometimes I'll let my kids do it they like it you just come out here and break this stuff off the stuff underneath will be damp and uh, we'll eventually expand back up and then you just do it again uh, until it's all dry. So say bye Paisley. Bye. Bye.